They're basic mm -hmm. skills that could save lives. That's right, aquatic experts are stressing the importance of teaching children how to stay safe in the water. 10 on your side's Nick Broadway shows us how just a week of lessons can make a huge difference. With miles of beaches and rivers and plenty of backyard pools, we have a very aquatic community here in Hampton Roads. Experts are using this Water Safety Month to share some crucial tips that could save a life. And then go back to floating. Very nice. If I'm in danger to float on my back. Michael is one of many second graders who went through the week-long Learn to Swim program at the YMCA in Newport News. In just that span of time, he's picked up the basics on swimming and a few critical tips from instructors. They want to share those tips with the rest of the community. Don't ever swim alone. Always ask permission before going into a pool. That way someone knows you are swimming in case an emergency happens. Never go in after someone who needs help and instead try to reach for them with things like pool noodles and safety rings. Their last tip, if you're not swimming, keep a close watch for those who are. Michael already knows all of these tips well, keeping himself above water whenever his family visits the beach. His proud mother hopes programs like these stay afloat. I hope they continue doing this because there's a lot of kids that do drown from water. Just from, you know, you look away for a quick second and your baby's in the water. Later on Wavy News 10, how the importance of water safety training became extremely clear for a swimming instructor after her son found his way into a backyard pool. Nick Broadway, 10 on your side. All right, today's poll question on wavy.com. Did you take swimming lessons as a kid? More people who have answered so far say yes. Log on and cast your vote.